At E3, we had the chance to spend some time playing Rainbow Six Siege's newly announced Terrorist Hunt mode on a PC. Based on the popular four-player co-op mode from Rainbow Six Vegas and Vegas 2, it's a smallish level riddled with dead-eye terrorists who will merrily gun you down at a moment's notice. They're even smarter now too, which is probably why you're allowed a fifth co-op player this time around to act as squad leader. Siege adds a few other new elements to mix things up, including randomly placed bombs to defuse and a special Darth Vader suicide bomber who can be identified by his asthmatic breathing. If completing objectives all sounds a bit too structured for your liking, Terrorist Hunt Classic, where you just clean the level out, is in there too. Your chances of survival in Terrorist Hunt are greatly improved if you make the most of a bunch of James Bond-esque gadgetry and gear, all of which should help you avoid eating bullet. Oh, and one piece of equipment that is considerably more Stone Age. Repelling is back in Rainbow Six Siege as the number one way to get into a building without knocking on the front door and asking if anybody's home. This time repelling is far more flexible, you don't just go up and down, you can go side to side if you like. The best new trick the rainbows have learned in the last seven years though is spinning around and going down upside down. We're not actually clear on what kind of tactical advantage this gives you other than a vital moment of terrorist confusion as a head appears at the top of a window. <laughs> New to Rainbow Six are characters who act like pre-made classes. The operative called Twitch's special ability is the Shock Drone, which is an awfully fancy name for a remote controlled car with a taser strapped to it. Regular drones can be used to spy on enemies and their defences, which is a key part of the multiplayer mode, but the Shock Drone is especially useful because it can be used to disarm mines and traps that would otherwise put a quick end to your career in International Special Forces. Kudos to whichever pyromaniac mad bomber came up with the design of the Cluster Charge, which is the character called Fuse's special ability. This is the ultimate counter-terrorist time-saving device. Normally you have to go to all the trouble of bursting into a room and then have to manually shoot all those terrorists, putting terrible wear on your trigger finger. With the Cluster Charge, you simply pop it on the outside wall of the room where Johnny Terrorist is hiding, and it drills a hole through the wall and pumps four grenades in there, making a very satisfying thumping sound as it does it. Bright shields aren't generally considered the height of technology, it's essentially a large piece of metal that you hide behind with a weenie window that you can look out of so you don't bump into walls. How do you improve on that classic design? Well, posed with the same problem that sanitary towel designers faced in the 1990s, Ubisoft has come up with the same answer. Add some wings. Montagna, which is French for mountain and who is a similarly immovable object, has an extendable riot shield with extra panels that pop out. This offers increased coverage of your own soft sensitive bits and also allows your team to stack up behind you and benefit from the shield too. Ash's special ability might just look like any old grenade launcher, if you're the sort of person who's no longer surprised by grenade launchers. In fact, the launcher contains a breaching round which burrows into a surface and then explodes, allowing you to breach walls and doors from a distance rather than having to get up close. Why, you might ask? Well, it offers you a few more tactical options for where to position the team as you breach, and it's also a much quicker way to make a big hole in a wall than carefully placing a charge. Still, if that's a bit tech for you, you might want to consider choosing Sledge as your character. Alright, Sledge's special ability isn't as technologically advanced as the others, but sometimes the old methods are the best. You don't need to reload a sledgehammer, you don't run out of sledgehammer, and a sledgehammer can bring down the very same walls as a breaching charge. Somehow, Sledge even manages to maintain a movement speed of average while he's lugging that hammer round. You can bet his friends never let him skip leg day. So yeah, if you want to get all your hammer time jokes out of your system before we encounter you on Xbox Live voice chat, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> So those are the kind of counter-terrorism toys you'll be playing with in Six Siege. If you want to try them yourself, there's an all-formats closed beta scheduled for late September, and you can register for the waiting list at rainbow6.ub.com. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more on Rainbow Six Siege from outside Xbox, and we'll see you next time.